Hey, welcome back. 20 minutes away from 7 o'clock, and it's a Friday. Get back to work. Get you. Hey. Get back hey. to work. Apple's highly anticipated <laughs> iPhone 10 comes out today. I wonder how many people will be calling it the iPhone X. I know. iPhone 10. People are lining up already. In fact, uh, Steve Noviello was in Dallas. I, but yesterday, you noticed one guy uh, that was hanging out, right? Yeah, I was in Uptown uh, yesterday in the Knox Henderson corridor. I noticed in the middle of the afternoon, somebody already camped out at the Apple store. That is the scene this morning at the AT&T store in Oaklawn and Dallas. Now, check out the first seat here. The guy who sits in it may or may not be <coughs> sick home from work today. So I'm not going to show you who he is, but I can tell you he's been out here for several years with us. If you see somebody who called in sick today and has a new phone tomorrow, You'll know who I'm talking about. Meantime, this is the line here. I do have to say this, AT&T uh, encouraging folks to really kind of check uh, and see what availability looks like. Uh, because this is a complete redesign this year, we are expecting that availability will be quite limited for folks. And here, of course, is what they're all waiting for. This is the new iPhone 10, or as Tim, you mentioned, lots of folks are going to be calling it the X. Uh, all of the different features on it, of course, the full screen display. Compared to the iPhone 7 Plus here, you can see that the screen is actually larger, even though the device is smaller. Uh, Apple has been kind of training us over the years, all that muscle memory. You can kind of use your phone without even looking at it, right? So there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve here. So yes, you're going to have the friends that complain, I like the old one better, just like every time they start a new uh, iOS. But I'll tell you what, uh, after a little while of using the phone, pretty easy to get used to. Some of the gestures, of course, the facial recognition that will unlock the phone for you. Uh, the idea of switching between apps is no longer a double tap. Uh, you now uh, swipe halfway up and hold it. And I'll tell you what, these, and you saw them during the tease, these talking emojis, probably one of the uh, most anticipated things that, you know, if you see people start to send you these, that's their way of telling you, I got the phone before you did, right? Uh, again, phone's uh, about $1,000. I do want to put that in perspective, though. We've seen a lot of news about, you know, are people really going to pay $1,000 for a cell phone? Folks, they have been doing it. Samsung has been in the $1,000 category uh, with their last couple of releases. So certainly, and again, from the folks that we see out here, we can see that consumers certainly ready uh, to invest that kind of money. The store here opens up at 8 o'clock. Again, your best chances of getting one of these phones, uh, you know, head online. Uh, of course, pre-orders were, a, couple, were uh, a week ago. Certainly come down uh, to try your luck. But I do have to say inventory is going to be limited at stores. Your best bet might be Apple this morning as well. All righty. Thanks, Noviello. Some people just got to have it. Talking emojis. I don't know. <laughs> I, want, I want to wait a couple of months. To until, see how, see how, how many it does. Them, well, no, to see how many of them catch fire. No, they're not going to catch fire. Jeez, it is 643. You're just waiting for something bad to happen. <laughs>